Morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. Oh, it is half oh, shit, half oh, six in the morning. Got a peppermint tea up, got my journal. Love my freaking journal. And I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna read for 10 minutes. I'm gonna have a moment because I'm very tired this morning. I need to wake myself up. Um, and I'm going on a really, really, really long run. One thing that I do every single morning is fill in my whoop journal. Now, I charge my whoop overnight. Everyone always asks, how do you charge it? Because I don't really ever take my whoop off. This is the little charger, so you plug it into the plug, and then you just literally place it on top, so you don't actually have to take it off, which is super clever. Every morning, I will fill in my journal. Now, a lot of mine, you can have it on a setting that is kind of preset, because a lot of mine are the same. So, for example, when the last time you had caffeine, because it's what happened yesterday, the last time I had caffeine was very early in the morning. It was literally like seven o'clock. Hydrate sufficiently, yeah. Express gratitude, yeah. I feel energized throughout the day. Yeah, I felt pretty good yesterday. Use a sauna, no, I didn't use it. Is it you take an ice bath? Yes, I did use an ice bath. And then you save your journal and it goes into your data for Whoop. So you can see my recovery. When I was in Portugal, which was here, it was really low and then it shot up a little bit. Now I'm not sure why it's down again. You see my resting heart rate was 38. That is absolutely wild to me. 38, like she's chilling. But no, my whoop is just one of the most viable things I ever used my whole entire life. My sleep last night was actually like really good. So when you, when you look at sleep, if you have a whoop, this number at the top here, your restorative sleep and your REM sleep are the ones that you wanna look at. So I got two hours 41 REM and three hours 59 restorative, which is why I don't feel horrendous. I definitely feel tired since I've woke up, but I'm up, I'm up and I'm ready. And it's because I've had seven hours 50 sleep. Your girl gets to bed early. I've used Whoop for such a long time now and loads of you guys have jumped on the Whoop bandwagon because I've hopefully shared really valuable information that you understand and you can get a free month on Whoop and you also get the 4.0 band included. So why not give it a go and see how you get on? Well, I need to get ready for a run. I go to Santorini on Wednesday. I've just got back from Portugal and I've heard that Santorini is very hilly and for me to do a marathon pace run would be very hard. So the, today, this morning, I usually have like a really easy like 11K, but I'm actually gonna do 25 minutes easy and then it's 80 minutes at marathon pace, I think, this morning. I have just popped myself in a piece of Tiger Bloomer, the best bread toast to grace the planet Earth. When my runs are slightly longer, I need the energy, I need all the carbs. I also think I'm probably gonna take a gel with me today. Now, the gels that I've been using are a little bit robe because you kind of chew them. I also need to take my supplements. This is one of my favorite supplements at the moment, collagen gummies. Oh my God. It tastes delicious, but also collagen, hair, skin, and nails. I do actually find it really beneficial. I feel like my skin. You can use code Lucy D to get some hella crazy discount on my protein. So this is the gel that I take when I'm running. Um, and it's like, um, hmm, you kind of chew it. It's a bit weird. So it's not like you drink the gel. The gel is literally like, you gotta chew that thing. So yeah, I need to just have my toast and then Get ready to go. I am about to go on a long run. Outfit is Gymshark, which is really cute. I'm not sure how long ago this was released, um, but I really quite like it, so we're gonna wear it. And it's, it is scorching. That's the only thing that I get a bit concerned about doing these really big runs, is it's it's gonna be a hot one today, guys. On not last week's video, because that was the Portugal one. If you've not seen the Portugal one, go back, because it's absolutely great times, great vibes. The one before that, I did speak about on runs, how I've not been listening to anything at the moment, and I haven't done it since that video, so it's been three weeks now by the time this video goes up. And it's honestly the best thing ever. I actually just enjoy listening to my own thoughts. It's made my headspace better. It's helped with my anxiety. It's made me feel better as a whole. I just really, don't know, I feel better from it. Is that not the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? Look at that. The shoes that I'm gonna wear today are my vapor flies because I'm doing 30, 25 easy, 80 minutes marathon pace. Don't know how I feel about it yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how we go. Now, training for performance is is something I've done maybe over the past two years now. And in all honesty, it is the best thing I ever did. When you train for performance, your aesthetic goals kind of come hand in hand and the enjoyment comes from it as well because I feel anyway, there's more purpose to my training and I really, really get a drive 
off anything performance based. I don't know if that's because I used to swim and it, it solely was performance based, not aesthetic, but I absolutely love it. This is the workout that I have today. I have programmed it into my Garmin, 25 easy, eight minutes marathon pace. And it's suggesting that it will be around 22.8K. You never really know um, <laughs> when you butt suggested in, but that's obviously what I want to try and hit. But for me personally, having these different goals this year, the marathons, Everest Base Camp, an ultra next gen high rocks it it puts me in a place where i absolutely love my training and i really really enjoy it because it gives me a sense of purpose and i really just i love it i know it's not for everyone just doing performance but i think when you do focus on performance and aesthetics and health and get a bit of a mixture of all of them you generally feel better and um, so yeah we'll see how it goes oh good god my legs feel horrendous obviously in portugal i didn't go to the gym for a week I just ran, like hilly runs, and yes, I did loads of hammies. So it feels like weight session a week with the long run the day before. Can't feel my legs, guys. I'm hoping the 25 minute warm up is gonna ease into it. But then again, sometimes when you run before like marathon pace, your legs just feel a bit dead. So we should see how it goes. My whoop is also vlogging this whole run. So I'll show you at the end. Another thing I think I'm gonna do is not actually where the Solomon for the marathon because when you have water in it with the ultra you're not trying to hit a pace with a marathon this is heavy so I think I'm gonna try and get like a camel pack or something and practice with them and wear it okay so heart rate is at 140 for the warm-up which is spot on exactly where it needs to be so in about one minute's time we're gonna go into marathon pace probably around 17 18k worth but I do quite like running it off time rather than K's. It seems to go quite a bit quicker. The legs have definitely eased into it a bit more. Okay, we've got 10K to go and it's going great. On pace, feel really good. Okay, doing dusted. Covered 23.2K, 4.31 pace. That's a really good run. It's just the last 3K. I literally couldn't breathe. Where you come up for the 3K. It's like a steady incline. I mean, but I'm well happy with that. I am really happy with that considering how hot it is as well. So yeah, that was great. I'm gonna go and shower, get a drink. Yeah, gonna do that. Oh my God, guys. I've chafed under my armpit. The sweat pain that just dripped on the chafe. Oh my goodness me. That was so hot this morning. I'm gonna go and get a shower and then I've got a block of work to do. I need to eat my breakfast and then more work to do. And then my mum is coming because it was her birthday yesterday and we're gonna go and saw in the ice bath with my mum. And I don't know what I'm doing. And this is literally one of my new favorite hair products, by the way. I have really long curly hair. Now this is the Dream Cocktail Coconut Infused Leave-In Treatment by Color Wow. Now Color Wow's products that I've used for a while because my hairdresser was like, Lucy, you need to sort your hair out before the wedding because it was so dry. And it's really great now. And I believe it's because of all the wonderfulness I've been putting in my hair. And um, I've still not had breakfast yet because I've been faffing. I also, because we go away tomorrow at 4 a.m. in the morning, I needed to shave, you know, shave my legs, feel nice and silky and smooth. And my gorgeous husband did bring me my favourite coffee back, which is the ice brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso from Starbucks. If you've not had it, please try it. Also comment below what your coffee order is because I'm always intrigued. I'm sometimes an oat flat white girl, but this is incredible. Breakfast time my favorite time. I'm just a bit of a realist. I don't stick to timings. I don't care for food timings. I'm just really not that fussed. Do you know what I mean? It literally doesn't change my life in terms of when I eat. When people say about food timings and optimally eating, even when I was like an elite swimmer, I didn't base off food timings that well because it's just each to their own. Um, I am gonna have an LMNT. Elementy. I know it's pronounced element, but I really love saying elementy. It kind of rolls off the tongue and it sounds really nice. So these are the salts that I have. It's not affiliated, it's not gifted. I've literally bought these. I've not found better yet. So if I find better than element, elementy, I will let you know. I'm gonna make a naughty bowl of granola. Today we're gonna have prunes, granola, chia seeds, and these things, dried strawberries, would you know, are absolutely delicious. Regarding food, running and lifting, being hybrid AF, whatever you, whoa, that's excessive. You need to eat 
you know, you really, hoo -hoo. I ate well in Portugal. Go back to last week's vlog and that's just like one day of eating. You need to keep the food in. So when I first, first started running, when I was probably not in the best headspace, this is like years ago when I used to run at uni to kind of run. I would run to, to burn calories. There was no enjoyment to the running. I literally didn't like it in any sense. I would constantly check my watch to see how many calories I'd burned, what I'd done. Um, I then wouldn't fuel properly. I wouldn't eat properly because of the calories that I'd burned. And I was in a really miserable place. How I was feeling and how I felt as a person and just really miserable, underweight, not happy. And then, so when I started getting back into running again, I had to really make sure that I was running for performance and I was running for a purpose and I was running for me and it wasn't for calories burned or losing weight or anything like that because for me, it wasn't a good, a good mental space that I was in. So now when I'm eating food, I fucking love food. You know, your girl can eat. The reason that I don't share my calories, someone actually asked me this question and they said, why do you never share your calories and you don't share your calorie, your macro intake, but you'll openly share your metrics from your whoop and your running metrics and your heart rate. So what you have to remember, my running heart rate, my metrics on my whoop are my health stats that I like to share and you guys also like knowing because it's it's quite interesting. So their health stats, their metrics that I base off how I am, my HRV, my resting heart rate, how I'm feeling, my heart rate on runs, X, Y, and Z. Now, the reason I don't share calorie and calories and macros is because people will fucking copy me and they have copied me and they will not achieve the same results that I've achieved because they're not me and they don't have my body weight, they don't have my activity level, they don't have a job like me, they don't weigh, weigh the same, they're not the same height, they have different metabolisms. There's so many different things that go into it. So the reason that I don't share my calories and macros is because people copy. You can't copy my resting heart rate, you also can't copy my HRV, you can't copy any of that and that's the reason I don't share calories because people have copied them in the past so years ago I cut it off sharing my calories online because I thought it's actually so irrelevant like you guys shouldn't care I'm at maintenance I'm not looking to like build I'm pretty much looking to maintain and perform well and I perform well when I am at maintenance like I've realized doing this marathon prep every space camp prep and then the second marathon is I, I'm good with maintenance calories it kind of sits really well with me I'm just gonna stop talking for a sec about like all this and performance because my granola is waiting for me to get in me mouth. There's the granola bowl. The only thing we have left to add, of course you guys know me, is my Biscoff. Um, I had to hide my Biscoff when I was in Portugal because Ben kept eating it. And I came back and I was like, it's empty. My mum's here. Hi. It was mum's birthday yesterday, so we've come for a sauna and ice bath and cupcake. Come Look at that. Yeah. It's a and flamingo. flamingo. Mm. Oh, flamingo is tasty. Did you try your drink? I love this drink. Yeah. What actually is it? Vitamin well. You know Lauren who went it to Portugal with? Well. Yeah. It does make you feel well. Oh. We're going to go in the sauna and then we're going to go in the ice bath. Mum hasn't actually experienced the ice bath properly before. She did have a loomy, but I think you used it once, I had didn't a you? Yeah, and then it was it got slimy on the bottom and I didn't <laughs> like it. And then I emptied so. it and then I used it as a water butt. Yeah. It worked as a water butt well. Oh, it's boiling! A little bit of Whoa. ambience. Yeah. Okay, I'll come in now, guys. You can't come in. That feels <laughs> I'm not trying to get in. You can. Oh, you can. You can. You can just sit down. Just sit down and then focus on your breathing. And then can I get out? Yeah, we'll just do a minute. I go. Sit down on the chair. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, you're making it worse. Okay, I am. Sit down, shoulders in. You can shoulders do it. In, right. Go now, shoulders, sit on the chair. Oh, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I like the chair though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. It's too warm. Wait, relax. I know it's the front to relax. Okay. Now I'm getting out. Is it dirty now? No, 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 it's fine. You actually did really well then. Did I? Yeah, you can go straight back in the sauna or you can drip dry. Go straight. Get in, you make it. Oh, that was quick. It's worse if you stand up. Oh, yeah, that was really well done. How long are you in for? I'll do a minute. Okay. And do you keep your hands out? Cause I do, because they actually do get too cold. My hands actually do no, get I've too cold. <laughs> it's significantly worse than the Lumi, isn't it? 
And do you yes. know why? Because because you feel something pushing on your belly. It's the extractor fan. It's it's going into your stomach. It looks clean. it looks like that's not going to get slime on the bottom. No, it wouldn't. You only had to change it once a month. But we actually changed it this morning. Did you? We did, yeah, just for you. Oh, thank you. This is my wedding dress. Look how big it is. I'll pop up some pictures. We got our wedding pictures back. It had a good time, this dress. Do you know why it'll be dirty? Because it was so long. Well, Are we so taking we can... it out? I think we should see if they've, how they've managed to... Because you were using it as a floor mop. I was. Actually, it doesn't look bad, that bottom there. The veil is beautiful. It's good. Considering how lucky that all was. There was marks all over the, the bottom box. of it. This, guys, the bottom of my dress was filthy. It's a great success. It is lunchtime. It's actually a very delayed lunchtime. We're going to have some coconut rice. And we're also going to have some tomatoes, cheddar cheese, and tuna. Ben's just done an interview with the independent. My little hubby there. Going to make my lunch, and I'll just show you when I'm done. There it is. We've got coconut rice, tuna with mayo, avocado. But then obviously, because I'm absolutely a cheese fanatic, gonna add loads of grated cheese. And then hopefully in the cupboards, I've got some soy sauce because dark soy sauce. I'm kind of like, an, I've made a bit of like an ugly poke bowl. That's what we've gone for. I'm also gonna add a blob of hummus because your girl is absolutely starving. So that is my very late lunch that I'm going to Thoroughly enjoy. It's seven o'clock, which means it is dinner time. I also organized my fridge with compartments as well because I am I am literally that person. So we are gonna have a sweet and smoky barbecue kind of chicken, salad, tomato, spring onion, more cheese. Um, I'm also basically just need to empty the fridge this evening before we go to Santorini. So I've not bought a lot of food. Um, so I'm gonna make my food now. I'm a bit annoyed that I ate my whole avocado at lunch because I was so hungry. But I think I've also had three of these today. I don't know, maybe not that successive. I usually drink around four liters, but when you've been in the sauna, you're literally chugging water because you're so thirsty because you're so hot. So I've drank a lot today. And my salts and my peppermint tea and the coffee that I had from Ben. Guys. I am watching something at the moment and it's fucking wild. It's on Netflix, it's called The Ultimatum. You go on the show with your partner, one of you wants to get married, one of you doesn't. So they give the ultimatum the person who wants to get married. And then they break up and choose all the people to date and to live with and to be with on the show. Like they end up being exit. And I just, if you get to that stage, I don't think you're supposed to be with someone. Wild. If anyone else is watching it or seeing it, please comment because for me, I can't wrap my head around it, but you know crap TV, you can't not watch it. This is the bowl of goodness. So we have a smoked barbecue chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, feta, we've got cheddar cheese somewhere in there, spring onion mixed in, cabbage. I'm very excited for this. It's been very hot today. I always find it a little bit, I don't know what it is. Even when I go to a hot country, I find it hard to eat when it's like this hot. But I'm gonna continue watching the shit TV show because I can't not. Hi everyone. It's quarter past nine and I need to go to bed by half nine, especially when I'm getting up at four o'clock. To fly to my best friend's wedding in Santorini. I'm literally so excited. I've got a nose strip on because I was struggling to breathe a little bit before, so I whacked a nose strip on. Spoke about this loads on Instagram. I did a really good video on Instagram on it, so make sure you go over there and follow me and say hi, hello, hello, hello. I'm just finishing off with some cereal biscoff and strawberries and blueberries and one raspberry I had one raspberry left and it's been a busy day it's been a big day it didn't actually film like the work part today sometimes I'll pop up my camera and film but I was just like I just don't want to I'm just gonna crack on with what I've got to do and that was my day I hope you loved it I hope you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up subscribe comment what else you want to see from me I'll see my video next week bye